Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here with another short video of Precision Farming for Farming Simulator 19. And today we are going to be looking at canola. And what we're going to be looking at is the different levels of nitrogen and how that affects our yield at the end of harvest. So as you can see, I've got four rows planted here, one in each different soil type. And let me go ahead and show you the map. So we've got the four different types here. We've got silty clay, we have loam, we have sandy loam, and loamy sand. And what we know from previous testing is that the max yield you're going to get on loam is 125%. And if you put the nitrogen at the recommended level of 200, that's what you're going to get. On sandy loam, it's going to be 100, and that's going to be 180 points of nitrogen. Silty clay, you're going to get 90, and that's going to be 160 points of nitrogen. And then on loamy sand, you're going to get 80, and that's going to be at 140 points of nitrogen. What happens if you don't put that much in there, though? Can we save a little bit of money on the fertilizer and still get a good yield? So what we've got is pH levels. Everything is where it should be, except this one spot right down here. We've nicknamed this the lake. Now, I um, had a problem whenever I put lime on this other field, and then when I plowed it back up, it already had all the lime in there. I've gone around it, and as you can see right here, this is the strip. The edge of it is right here where my cursor is at now. And if we come back over here, you can see it's right on the edge. So we should be outside that. Not a problem at all. So let's go ahead and look at our nitrogen levels really quickly. So as you can see, what I've done is created a tiered field here and what i mean is this row right here is going to be at 20 percent and there are 20 kilograms per hectare we've got 40 60 80 100 and then we've got 120 140 160 180 200 and then zero here at the end and kind of scattered all throughout the middle so what that means is every soil type we have every step that's on your uh, legend over on the right of nitrogen. So we're going to be able to see every combination of all of this. And like I said, our pH levels are already good and this field has been plowed. So we're good there. So we should be getting the absolute best max per this nitrogen setting. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and harvest these different strips and then we will be back and we will go over the map. All right, so we got all this harvested. Let's go ahead and jump over and take a look at the map. So once again, these are our soil types. And as you can see here on the pH, everything did like it was supposed to. We stayed within our uh, soil types really, really well. So the results are going to be accurate. Next is the nitrogen. And as you can see, everything reduced out. So we know that our crop yield is going to be at least consistent with everything that we've seen before. Um, meaning that the nitrogen, the amount of nitrogen that should have came out, came out. So we are good to go there. Now, let's take a look at the yields. This is the yield map. Now, it does look a little bit kind of complicated. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. But the first one we want to look at is loam. And loam is going to be right here from roughly this 8, follow this around, to the 9. And if we go ahead and come up and take a look here, we can see that at 125%, this is the max yield that we should see on this with our nitrogen level set uh, automatically. So what we have is 125%. That is going to be for our 200 and our 180 Next, we are going to have 115, and that's going to be for 160 kilograms a hectare and 140 also. At 110%, we're going to have it only for the 120 kilograms a hectare. At 105 here, you can see that we have the 100 and the 80 kilograms a hectare that are going to be good there. I'll move down here a little bit for you guys at 100 percent only going to be 60 kilograms a hectare next is going to be 95 
And that's going to be everything else. So our 40, our 20, and our 0 are all going to get us 95%. So that's on loam. What about sandy loam? Well, sandy loam, we know it's maxed out at 100% yield. So if we start right here at 100, we can see that the first two are going to drop off, and that is 200 and 180. Next, on 95%, we're going to see that the 160 and the 140 have now dropped off. At 90%, you're going to have two more at 120 and 100. 85, you're going to get two more at 80 and 60. At 80% is going to be the 40 and the 20. And then everything else, all the zero, is going to be at 75. So let's turn this back on. We'll come back up here to 90. And we're going to look at our silty clay. And that's going to be this straight strip going right across through here. So to start off with, on 90, we're going to have the top three. So 200, 180, and 160 are going to drop off there. Next is going to be 85%. And if we knock this one off, that's going to be at 140 and 120 kilograms a hectare. At 80, we're going to have two more at 180 also. Not 180, but the 100 and the 80. At 75%, we're going to have the 60 kilograms, 40 kilograms. And then at 70, we're going to have the 20 kilograms and 0 kilograms. So turn all this back on to 80% now, and we'll come down here to loamy sand. So loamy sand is going to be a little bit, it's going to snake around just a little, but I think we're going to be all right. So at 80%, this is quite a few, it looks like, right there, you've got the 200, the 180, the 160, the 140, and the 120. At 75% here, we're going to knock that off. Two more, that's at 180 kilograms, 100 kilograms per hectare and 80 kilograms per hectare. At 70%, we're going to have the 60 and the 40 drop off. And at 65%, we're going to have the 20 and the 0. So let me go ahead and turn all of these back on for you guys. The yields are very consistent with wheat, which is interesting because we had seen a little bit of a different one with the uh, the barley barley is slightly slightly different um, it gives you a little bit better yield when you use a little bit less nitrogen than here on the canola so not a big one though. only like five percent difference on the different levels kind of as you step down so if you like the video or learned something today go and give me a thumbs up if you would and if you want to be kept up to date on all my future precision farming videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell too, because I am putting out multiple videos a day some days. Just want to say, have a great day everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.